totally make a song for DJ Kicks. I've been wanting to do it. They're the best mixed CDs in the world. You have to have focus. DJ Kicks, I'm gonna kill it. Let me get real loose here. Actually, I should have had some tequila before I did this, to tell you the truth. The power of dance music is that there are no limitations of what you can do. Everything is possible. Hey, I'm Jada G. I'm a DJ and music producer. DJing, it's magic. That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> My name's Tiga. I'm a DJ, artist, producer, DJ. It's a chain reaction in your head. <laughs> My name's Carl Craig. I'm a DJ, producer, and I produce one of the first DJ kicks in existence. My name is Horst Weidenmüller. I'm the inventor of DJ Kicks and the founder of the CEO of K7. When we started DJ Kicks in the 90s, there was no creative understanding that a DJ is an artist. I recognized that the art form needs a platform and the DJ needs to be centered. I knew it, it was a new, innovative concept. It's not just a nice mix and great DJs. It's a new form. It's a big deal uh, for a DJ to, to get their chance to do their DJ kicks. It's a little bit like the history of DJs. They showcase the vibe and the taste of whomever is making the mix. It's a who's who of the most interesting DJs. Curation that Horst and his team went through to pick each artist. Each one is unique as each DJ is unique. It's almost like a rite of passage. I've been wanting to do it my whole DJ career. It's about DJs kicking the raw, making something that's timeless, and that encapsulates the sound of the time when that DJ kicks was made. Back in the mid-90s, I owned a record store, and it was just the beginning of electronic music being a little more palatable for like regular people, regular music buyers, not strictly DJ culture. And a lot of the early DJ Kicks CDs were really like a, a little bit of a gateway. Growing up in a small town in rural Canada, it really was a way for me to experience a DJ set without really going to a DJ set. It was a key moment in my understanding and learning about the electronic scene from a place where it was just not easily accessible for me in real life. DJ Kicks seems a little bit more official than everything else. I mean, they were like a reliable staple in our, in our shop. In fact, the first one I remember was the Carl Craig. DJ Kicks was something that I thought was really new. And I really thought I was the, the first guy to do DJ Kicks. We invited Carl Craig to do a mix because we knew that he is thinking beyond genres. He was on the forefront of electronic music and he is working in a very innovative way. People recognized this is a new art form and that was needed for DJ kicks. I could only think of it compilation in the way of what I've been influenced by. So I was slashing on the floor with a tape machine, a turntable, and a razor blade, and cutting tape and doing his mix by hand. So my DJ kicks was more about what the technical possibilities were. It was a, a true musical production. It really, really felt like a Carl Craig album in comparison to a Carl Craig mix. Now, this is not your ordinary DJ mix album because the music hasn't just been mixed. I mean, it's been remixed, re-edited, I mean, all chopped up. It's like a mad mishmash of music. It's fantastic, so go and check it out. We treated every DJ kicks like an artist album, fully, with the fullest respect, with a full PR campaign, with videos, with cover artwork, photo shoots, everything. And I think that resonated with people. 
I was part of a scene where it was a lot more playful, a lot more playing around with our personas, and the music itself integrated a lot of different styles, electro, pop, rock, 80s. Things were going really well for me. It was very, very exciting. And somewhere in and around that time, I kind of, I got the call that they wanted me to do a DJ Kicks. I was super happy. Working with Tiger was a joy. It was a really fresh approach. He takes a little bit ironically what is happening in the R&B and hip hop world. Mix a little bit of uh, uh, with a little bit of uh, uh. Spring a little bit of uh, uh, with a little bit of uh, uh. So the kicks was done live, and all the good mix CDs I ever did, I did live. The times that I tried to do it in studio, it was a nightmare, and it never sounded very good because it wasn't spontaneous. Making a, a DJ mix that stands the test of time, that's actually good, it's way harder than stepping into a club and playing a two-hour set. You really desperately want that if someone just finds it five years later, they get a real essence of you as a DJ at your best. I remember telling my manager, I was like, if we ever get offered a DJ Kicks, you have to tell me right away and we have to do it. It sounds kind of maybe cheesy to say, but I know I'll really have made it as a DJ if I get to do a DJ Kicks mix. We are really proud to work with Jada because what she has done with her DJ Kicks is so innovative and pushing it so much forward. She is such a great new talent. How I start my mixes is just like absolute chaos of me doing tons of screenshots of songs that I'm listening to. Maybe like 8% of those songs are gonna make it to the mix. That's my favorite process. You're always trying to lift the audience up to a higher place emotionally so that they all can reach that place together. Also reaching out to my friends to make original work, to involve the people I really care about in something that I really cared about and was the best feeling. <laughs> With now finally having DJ Kicks on Apple Music, it also gives the opportunity to make a journey through the history of dance music. Every artist brings something totally new. I'm always looking for the next artist that makes me jealous. You know, that makes me like, oh fuck, this is so good. You know, the core of a new sound, you know, where you, where you start to build around it. it. Makes me want to go to a party. That's the really cool thing about this series. Like there's not really anything like that in dance music, something that has stood the test of time and is still really well revered. The lineup of DJs for DJ Kicks has always been stellar. They're good at finding not only the artists that are hot right now, but the artists that are interesting right now. In the last 25 years, electronic music has changed a lot. What has not changed is innovation, and that's what we're looking for. That's where we want to be with DJ Kicks. We will stop DJ Kicks once the story is told.